Dark matter has always been an article of intense curiosity among the top scientists and astrophysicists worldwide. Many have tried to explain this unseen energy which has been working to keep our universe in one piece. As if this dark energy ceases to exist, our universe will collapse in its gravity. Such high stakes have warranted scientists continued work on dark matter. Recently, a group of scientists, whilst working on dark matter, discovered a portal to the fifth dimension, which could change how we view our universe forever. What is this terrifying new portal? How did scientists find it? Dark matter is believed to make up about 85% of the universe's total mass. Despite its prevalence, scientists have yet to directly detect or observe dark matter, making it one of the biggest mysteries in physics today. The existence of dark matter is theorized from its gravitational effects on the movement of stars and galaxies, but its nature and properties remain unknown. With the discovery of the fifth dimension, researchers believe that this dimension might explain the unseen 75% of dark matter, despite the fact that there is limited information about it. Most of our concepts about the physical universe depend on the notion of dark matter. Without a certain element of dark matter, numerous characteristics would either dissipate or disintegrate completely, even though dark matter does not interfere with the particles we can see and sense. This implies it must also have other extraordinary characteristics, hence why more exploration of dark matter was required. The pursuit of getting more data drove a group of physicists from Johannes Gutenberg University, Mainz, Germany, to conduct a study. This study proposed a theory about some unidentified particles moving around in a concealed fifth dimension. They suggested that the gravity of this particle could manifest itself in our four-dimensional universe as the extra gravity we currently attribute to dark matter. The study, which was published in the European Physical Journal, further suggests that the particle can provide a satisfactory explanation for dark matter. The results of their extensive research have produced 5D equations, which suggests the implications that an additional dimension would have on the universe and even reality itself. On June 16, 2016, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, started a project to accelerate charged particles and study dark matter. Photographer Christophe Suarez shared a collection of images of the sky over CERN 10 days later. These amazing pictures showed how strange clouds are made and that the biggest experiment ever done is about opening a door to a parallel universe. We had only previously witnessed such events in movies, but now that we have seen them in real life, many are not only alarmed, but also terrified that the scientists may have really discovered a technique to create a gateway to another realm. The return of CERN, however, is what everyone should be most concerned about. You hear about the European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN for short, whenever there is news of newly discovered subatomic particles. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, the largest accelerator in the world, is housed in this enormous particle physics laboratory. Its 27-kilometer, almost 17-mile diameter circular tunnel earns it the title of the largest. Like other physics experiments, the LHC aims to put any theoretical predictions to the test and determine if they are accurate. It makes it possible to smash atoms together even harder and almost as fast as light. This is basically a simulation of how things were at the start of the universe. The discovery of the Higgs boson, commonly referred to as the God particle, was a turning point for the LHC in 2012. Theoretically, it will confirm the Big Bang hypotheses, which details how an invisible universe-wide field gave everything mass just after the Big Bang. Theoretically, it will also disclose the mysteries of how the universe was formed. Scientists think that the basic parts of matter are governed by the accepted principles of particle physics, which are called the standard model of particle physics. The discovery of the particle has given this theory a lot of support. After discovering the Higgs boson, researchers at the LHC have their sights set on an even more mysterious object. Astronomer Zen Lu of the University of Minnesota says that the Higgs boson, a key part of the standard model, may also serve as the door between the light and the dark worlds. Theories say that one type of dark matter doesn't interact with regular matter very often. 
Researchers think that this particle might be involved in the collisions of protons that are happening and can be seen at the LHC. Lou says that if we use quantum mechanical coupling, we might be able to directly see how dark matter decays or changes between different states. Even better, because we have a good handle on making Higgs bosons at the Large Hadron Collider and in future colliders, we should be able to make dark matter directly and figure out what they are. A group of scientists recently said they think they have a particle that can go to the fifth dimension to explain dark matter. Researchers say that the particle may provide insight into dark matter in the studies that have been published in a journal. The researchers studied fermion masses, which they think may be transported into the fifth dimension through portals, leading to a fermionic dark matter in the brand new fifth dimension and dark matter remnants. I can't even begin to imagine how wonderful the world would be once we have complete control over light matter and dark matter," Lou further stated. However, far more energy is needed to find the particle than was used at the LHC to find the Higgs. Scientists have invested 21 billion pounds to reach the target. The LHC was shut down in December 2018 so that upgrade work could be done. In order to make significant modifications to the system, the Large Hadron Collider was shut down for a period of two years. The Large Hadron Collider reopened in April of this year after the upgrades, and it is now preparing for its third run to explore new physics realms. This is going to be the strongest it's ever been. Run 3 is exciting for me not just because it will provide us more data at greater collision energies, which we always enjoy, but also because the detector is the best it's ever been the project support manager stated. The trap is now ready to capture the particle whenever it wants. Professor Lian Tao Wang of the University of Chicago's Kavli Institute for Cosmological Physics and Enrico Fermi Institute stated, If the particle is there, we simply have to figure out how to dig it out. Finding the correct question to ask is often the key to solving mysteries. This was the enjoyable part. Now, the conspiracies start. Wild claims that CERN was building a gateway to hell in search of the God Particle started to spread when the LHC started to operate again on April 22nd. This is not the first time that researchers have discovered something similar. In 2016, images were leaked of an odd cloud formation and electrical activity above the CERN complex. This strange thing happened right after CERN saw a small black hole form as the particles were smashed together at very high speeds. The well-known physicist Stephen Hawking also warned us about the God Particle and even wagered that physicists would never find the Higgs boson. But when they did, he issued a harsh warning. The physicist suggested that the Particle would one day be to blame for wiping out the known universe in his well-known book Starmus. The scientists pointed out that the Higgs boson's most concerning aspect is that it can become a megastar at energies greater than 100 billion giga electron volts. The largest threat to this world's survival is the development of tiny black holes, which would ultimately grow and consume the planet from the inside out. The British astronomer Sir Martin Rees agrees with Hawking that these black holes could open a Pandora's box, letting out high-energy strange matter that is very unstable and causing a catastrophic vacuum decay that would cause time and space to collapse, even though CERN scientists say they wouldn't end the universe. This may happen at any moment, and we wouldn't notice it coming, Hawking said in his warning. Even if such a disaster is unlikely to occur anytime soon, Hawking thinks there is too much of a chance that the Higgs may become unstable at high energies. Scientists say that these particles could fundamentally change the history of the universe by making gravity waves of a size that future gravitational wave detectors could pick up. We have yet to determine when the particle will be found, but everyone is looking for it. The LHC will operate for two years in order to find the answers. In 2024, scientists at CERN will shut down Run 3 for another planned repair that will include more changes to the huge particle accelerator. When the LHC reopens in 2028, after modifications are complete, scientists will be allowed to call it the High Luminosity Large Hadron Collider. For example, the next generation of Higgs factories will only be interested in the exciting opportunities that come from the Higgs Gateway, the future Circular Collider, FCC at CERN, and the Circular Electron-Positron Collider, CEPC in China, are two Circular Higgs factories. While Japan's International Linear Collider, ILC, and CERN's Compact Linear Collider, CLIC, are two Linear Higgs manufacturers. 
The particle smasher in China will be five times as powerful as the LHC at CERN. As China and Europe strive to find it, it could not be long before the world learns whether the God Particle is the universe's creator or destroyer. That's it for today's video and we will see you in the next one.